Hello everybody, most of you won't know me, but I'm A Enterprise and I'm working on the Multiblock Refinery for Buildcraft. So let's get started because I'm gonna show you how it works and how to build it. So let's go into my test world and here we go. So first thing you wanna do is place down your refinery control. You can see when you open the interface it says it's a refinery control but it's red meaning that it doesn't recognize it's a multi-block because well we didn't build it this is just a single block the control so let's build it we need a refinery valve right behind it and then you surround that with refinery heaters once you've done that you build it up like that so it becomes six tall so one two three four five six and all around you do that but not the middle column above the valve sorry valve english is my mother tongue so not that easy um, so building up and not in the middle that's where the oil will go and we put the refinery valve there to finish it and then you open the interface and now we got some more options well more displays it's green and it says how much oil and fuel I is in it and it shows us the temperature uh, while oil and fuel will get removed later on well the counter displays this is just for debug testing to verify that the correct amounts are being used and created so i made a little setup here so this one is completely filled up with 10 buckets of oil and cooling down from testing so let's turn it back on and well, you will see the temperature going up it will won't produce fuel until it reaches 370 degrees also note that the oil amount says way more than 10 buckets but it's millibuckets so let's get rid of this rain and fall up. so that, that's a lot better so while this thing is heating up to to its final temperature of 270, well, final temperature is 400 degrees, that's the max. But until then we have to wait. So I'll tell you about the future of the multi-block refinery, or at least what I have in mind. So right now you it works like the old refinery, convert oil to fuel at a specific ratio. When, uh, that's all good and well, but kind of boring so next thing is adding a new type of uh, well the same multi-block but more outputs so for example not sure about the final design yet but on the on different heights some more outputs one of the fluids will be tar the other will be lpg it will also produce stuff like paraffin and wax as byproducts they will get used later on but for now I'm just noting to you guys that I'm adding those and those will come into play in Buildcraft later on well, I hope they will one of the main purposes of those new fuels will be also well, a fuel Tor will be produced about 4.5 megajoules of thick regular fuel will still be 3 megajoules and fuel still 6 so that's what I'm going to add later on so also the multi-block will be more dynamic so you can choose not to build it six with only two or three but it won't heat as fast and produce as much um, what else I got a pl plant um, some more of the fuels but that's stuff for later on nothing else really pops in my mind to say so also you can do note that it produces a little bit more this is a comparison test I did this is how much it produced a ref regular refinery produced with just two, re two engines hooked up with each one bucket of fuel and this is how much the normal produces so a little bit more do note this is not a valid way to build it this is the old way to build it but that changed also here i did some rotation tests it works no matter how you rotate it as long as you don't build it upside down so for 
as you can see this thing has heated up sufficiently now it's cooling down because we are adding oil but it will heat up pretty soon to produce some more fuel so as you see the remainings are coming out so that's it for this video i hope you enjoy this new refinery and if people with coding experience want to help just send me a message and i'll see what you can do so bye